Predictable. <laughs> I am here with the artist extraordinaire Ben Templesmith. Ben, how's it been? We, last time we chatted it was a little over a year ago. It was uh, last Comic-Con. First of all, I disagree with that title. <laughs> okay, all right. But thank you very much. Um, and I'm, yes, I'm happy to be with you and see you again. <laughs> That sounded very romantic. I didn't mean it that way. No. Uh, I bought you a drink, so I'm getting somewhere, right? Yes, exactly. Oh, you're a, you're a sweet talker. <laughs> so last time we chatted, you announced uh, your latest project from Image with Ben McCool, Choker. Now that it's been like a year later, we're almost done with the series. So how is that? Uh, oh, uh oh, apparently. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. how, how's that been going, uh, going for you? You had a whole tour, didn't you? Um, yeah, um, well, this is what, Comic-Con 2010. Comic-Con 2009, we did a big panel and we announced it and uh, had a little bit of the work done. Uh, since then, it's now up to issue three is out. Um, it's probably had the best sales of any comic I've done um, outside of the obviously 30 Days of Night, which was a movie, and Fell, which is Warren Ellis and he sells whatever he sells. The, bu the book has done great numbers, it's had a great reception, and uh, Ben McCool is uh, getting more and more work. He's, his name is mentioned a fair few times now, he's getting big. Which I, I picked him first. Um, <laughs> that's why I wanted to work with him on, on Shaker, and I'm really happy for him. So um, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I'm slightly late on the next issue. It's coming. Um, I'm going to finish the book. It's, it's, so people hopefully are patient. Um, I'll be, I have an apology in the back of it for the, for the length of time it's taken me. Um, yeah, it's been going really well. Uh, a little bit uh, earlier uh, this year, there was uh, G.I. Joe Origins number 12 came out, and that was with Mark Andreco and yourself. Uh, it was a great story about the Baroness. How did you get involved with that G.I. Joe property? <laughs> I was just actually talking to Mark just before I came here about that, so because he, you know, we chatted and said, hey, it was great to do, blah, blah, blah. Um, how did I get to do it? Yeah, yeah. how did that come about? Uh, I, I, were you always interested in the G.I. Joe? I, kicked and screamed and said, you know, I, I'd love to do something with a well-known Cobra villain. And I said, and so Andy, Andy Schmidt, the editor, said, well, which one? I'm like, uh, Baroness, that'd be cool. And he said, okay. And he eventually found a story that would suit my style and um, was with Mark and uh, it was a lot of fun. And it did go really well. It was one of my favorites. I think I even uh, chose it as a book of the month, but or oh, some uh, week of the week. <laughs> some of the traditional GI Joe fans uh, didn't really uh, weren't too used to my work, though. Unfortunately, you can't please everyone, and unfortunately, yeah, yours is a very distinct style compared to like maybe what you might see usually with like uh, a name like Larry Hama attached, where every, everyone's muscular and all buff and whatnot. So I, I think I enjoyed it personally. At least they're not Transformer fans because they would go mental if I drew a thing because <laughs> they're very particular people. So right. uh, Very much so. Um, also, you have your own uh, self-published work uh, out right now, Squid Girls. I do. Yes, I do. Uh, I know you love the tentacles and all that. I just put out a 100-page hardcover art book called Squid Girls. Uh, it's only a thousand copies and it's got an original sketch in, in each one and you know I'm selling them at uh, only at conventions right now but possibly online on my website later on but uh, it's squids and girls and um, I'm starting religion so it's got commandments in it as well the church of the holy space squid because uh, apparently squid tentacles and girls funny girls uh, are popular so I'm doing more of this uh, speaking of religion, uh, the Westboro Baptist Church were uh, n having a nice little protest out front. I saw some pictures on Bleeding Cool of you uh, partying with them. How'd that go? That made Bleeding Cool, did it? I, uh, yeah, that, I don't think those were them, though. Those were just some other nut jobs who were also a bit too religious. Because, they, I mean, they don't hate quite as many people, but they did say... There was one God hates sign with them, but the rest were about Jesus thinks you're all sinners. But they weren't the traditional Westboro... Westboro Baptist ones. I did see pictures of them. I wasn't. I didn't get out to see them because they were elsewhere. I just meet these guys at random and figured I'd do a little dance in front of them, and have some pictures taken. Because I mean, the best way to, to, to combat religious bigotry and fundamentalism uh, is dancing next to them. I think. Yeah, what, what are they going to do? Yeah, they already condemned you to hell. And I'm a I'm a white male. Uh, I can't dance, so it makes it even better. Well, the doctor can't dance either, so you know you got a lot in common with the doctor, Ma Matt Smith. He can dance. What are you talking? I can't do that. He can dance. You, well, you don't think that was good? No, I thought that was very you know breathtaking, and and he should be on Dancing with the Stars next, but or Dancing with the Galaxies, whatever he's all about. But um, moving on to IDW, uh, you have Volume Two of the Deviant Edition of Wormwood Gentleman Corpse. Is it always fun going putting these collections together and having a walk back uh, memory lane? 
Yeah, I like doing that because it, to me it's the uh, the end of the road of like you put out the, the issue that you you spend a little more time because you've done all the work you did the work a long time ago and you can just take the extra time to do some extra little things and make it the really special edition that people appreciate um, I just wish I could do it when I want to at the right time because you, the nature of that, that book those books because they go to the book market they need to be done so far in advance it's not funny so I have to do issue 3 shortly I think so um, volume 3 because they're going to do volume 3 too so they go really well with the hardcovers well, I, I had such fun rereading volume 2 because we visit Leprechaunia and I just love Leprechaunia the, the whole dimension full of le your leprechauns are just such fantastic creatures and if this would ever be a movie or a, an animated television show of some sort I think they would just look wild on that kind of stuff. But yes, okay, so besides um, Choker uh, finishing up and Squid Girls coming out, what other projects do you have in the future? Uh, the next thing I'm doing is uh, an illustrated film. It's going to be like, it's much more than a motion comic, but it's not obviously live action. Um, I'm writing and, and illustrating, and then they're animating um, with CGI and, and then voiceovers and stuff. And it's with a company named Halo 8, and the project is called Black Sky. And... Not to harp on the squid, but it's going to be similar. It's like it's going to be like a post-apocalyptic band of brothers combating squid. World War Squid. World War Squid. <laughs> only you. Only you. Um. Allusions to sort of uh, the World War One era because the technology's sort of gone backwards a bit because the humans aren't doing too well. So it's trenches and grit and lots of death. And if the fans want more uh, about your upcoming projects, where can they find you on the web? They can find me on my blog spot, which is like temp bl blogger.com slash templesmith or whatever it is. My website, templesmith.com. Uh, Twitter, which is at templesmith. Uh, me personally, my phone number is... Uh, For a good time? <laughs> oh, I don't guarantee that at all. Um, you'll find that out. Um, yeah, that's where they contact me. Well, Ben, thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a Pleasure. good comment, uh, Comic-Con, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you again next year. Ben Templesmith, everybody.